Welcome to Reef and Pond Wise, another spectacular day in the hobby. If this is your first time here and you love reef keeping and pond keeping like I do, be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on anything. Today's video is a follow-up on some questions that I got about total turnover for water volume in your pond. So let's get started. So this on, on this side we have a... Um, a body of water that I usually like to run separate from that side and we've got two 3600 gallon filters uh, one for each side and boy you can tell spring is on its way we've already got the lounge where we're coming out so <laughs> we're uh, we're back to the pond so each one of those main waterfalls on that side is operated by a 3,600 gallon per hour Pond Max filter, as well as the one on this side. And I think what I've left out in previous videos is, okay, well, what runs that waterfall and what runs that fountain? Well, guys, at the end of the day, the two waterfalls, the main waterfalls that I just pointed out, have those filters hooked up where each one of the pumps, which is a 3,600 per gallon pump, is in the middle of that body of water next to that fountain and in the middle of this body of water to, uh, to run that waterfall. But... I also have another 3600 that is not hooked up to the filtration that runs that waterfall and I have another 3600 that runs that fountain. So thanks for pointing out that no, I do not have one time per hour or close to it at 7200 gallons per hour because I actually have 14,400 gallons of circulating water per hour and when I pointed out the 3600s I was just re referring to the two waterfalls and not the fountain and not that extra waterfall there so it's recommended to have a minimum of half of the pond size per hour. So in other words, if you had a thousand gallon pond, you would want a minimum of 500 gallons per hour, which is half the pond volume per hour. Uh, most pond keepers and some of the uh, people that I've talked to and that are involved in the community uh, like to, at minimum, have one circulated volume of water per hour. So if you had a thousand gallon pond, you would circulate your water at a thousand gallons per hour. Um, this pond is circulating at close to two times per hour at 14,400 gallons because this is a 7,500 gallon pond. Now, is that overkill? It may be. But look at how happy the fish look. Look at how healthy they are. And the water movement is key in this hobby. The last thing you want to do is have stagnant water in a koi pond. So I always tell people that are just starting out as beginners, pay attention to your gallons per hour water flow. It does a numerous uh, benefits for the fish, including and not limited to oxygen in the water as the water hits the air and comes off of these water features, which is really good for the fish. It keeps the water movement on the surface uh, from getting stagnant, which you know prevents, uh, as I've said in the past many times, predators from seeing your fish, um, mosquitoes. Um, the water movement in a pond is crucial to pond health and the ecosystem. So I just wanted to clarify that, and thanks for pointing that out, guys, um, that this pond that you're looking at here is indeed two times, almost two times per hour, one time per hour circulating if you only factor in the two main waterfalls. Now, guys, if you liked this video and you found it informational, hit the like button, 
And remember guys, anybody can build a pond, but it takes someone special to keep one, and that someone special is you.